Damian Priest versus Finn Balor. This rivalry entire match fell so flat. And for them to only get 10 minutes on a PLE, I, I don't think Triple H is buying into Finn Balor as much as people think he would. Is he world champ material at this point? Because all he does is lose. Not at all. Not. And the problem is that the fall off that is Finn Balor as a world title contender needs to be studied. The WWE 24 documentary eventually on this man's fall off is going to be iconic. This is somebody who is the very first universal world champion in WWE. He won that title. He was the inaugural holder, yes, only for 24 hours but he still was the first person to win said title. Everybody, myself included, in the WWE Universe was behind it. But the problem is, one, he he's not the best on the mic. Two, they can't build any rivalries with him. It's outside of NXT, he can't build and be that main person in a rivalry, in a storyline. There's way more talent that's basically shooting over him. But here's the problem with that, Justin. I actually disagree with you here. We've seen him be able to carry himself in a rivalry with Seth Rollins. We saw it. We saw it last year. And, and maybe you weren't convinced, or maybe you didn't buy it, but I did. I thought Finn Balor's story of seven years not being, you know, given the rematch that he deserved, that story in general, his promos during that at rivalry, it made me believe, hey, Finn Balor can be a world champion. Ever since that entire feud, well, nothing has happened with Finn Balor. Finn Balor has had nothing to do of substance. Finally, you finally give Finn Balor something to do with Damian Priest, who at this point is one of the hottest baby faces in the in, in, in Raw right now. Finn Balor being a world champion or a champion in general, slim to none.